Are you fed up? Well, guess what? You're in good company. There are millions and millions and millions of people that are frustrated. They are angry. They are outraged. They're shocked. Uh, what else can we describe uh, how people are feeling right now? I want to give you something to think about. Now, first of all, like I said, you're in good company. You're not alone, first of all. But second, let's talk about how is this affecting us? And we have to have the mindset that no matter what is going on in crazy land. If you listen to my radio show, you know I talk about cray cray land. It's crazy land out there. What you can control. So think about this year, my motto is anything is possible. But my sub uh, mod, uh, mantra here is control the controllables. I say that every single morning. When I'm having my meditation time and my prayer time, I talk about, okay, today we're going to control the controllables. And who can control your joy? No matter what's going on in the crazy world, you can't just stay upset and frustrated and angry and all. We, we're going to have to put them in little boxes and say, okay, this is what's going on in the real world. Now, snap out of it and let's focus on the things that we can control. Do everything you possibly can. Um, I had a wonderful, wonderful gentleman share this with me when I was 23 years old about, you know, I was very frustrated because I wasn't having the success um, that I wanted. And he said to me, well, he said, have you done everything possible? Are you doing everything possible every single day? I said, yes, I am. And he said, I know you, because you turn over rocks a hundred times. You do everything. So sometimes it happens to be things that are out of your control. And you can't let that affect your happiness and your joy uh, and your mental attitude, because that's not helping anybody. It's kind of like Twitter. Let's be honest. Okay, so Twitter puts takes down the president, takes down 70,000 other Americans. And guess what? And it's really because of President Trump that guess what happens the next day when this goes all over the weekend, they lose $5 billion in market value. That's $5 billion with a B. Well, I guess Twitter showed the president because if he wants to talk to you, it's law. He can come on every single station. If he wants to talk to the American people, it's against the law not to. So, Oh, well, $5 billion. And you see, you have control. It's control the controllables. If that upsets you enough, then you get rid of your Twitter account. And many people have done it. If you're not happy with Apple, we've had clients call and say, I don't care what it costs me, I'm out. I want out, I don't care the cost, I am not gonna support that. In their stocks, we own a wealth management firm. I'm Victoria Woods. They call me the financial diva. Maybe I should have shared that with you. What I want to share with you, though, too, is I want you to think about this. Don't let people steal your joy this year. It's going to be rough. We know the market's going to be volatile. We know, and people don't really care right now. Honestly, people do not care. Like I said, they're calling and saying, just, I don't care what it costs me. I don't care if it costs me taxes. I don't care if it costs me in growth. I am, I am no longer going to support a, a organization. And it's really, I have a friend, Donna Miller, who is, uh, she heads up Purse Power. And she's been preaching for years about you support the companies that, you know, that, that have the same values that you have. We call it social investing in the investing world. It's social investing. You spend your money at the places that support the causes that you care about. That's called Purse Power. It's called social investing. You get to make the decision. So guess what? You truly are in control if you choose. Now, everybody with Amazon, like, oh my gosh, it's so easy. You know, I'll just let that go. Well, that's your choice. It is, again, it's your choice. So control the controllables. Don't get mad at them and then keep spending your $12.99 or whatever a month and supporting them. You get And you go, what difference does it make if it's just me, one little person? Well, it, it's your way of controlling the controllables. The other thing is, is please make sure you take time for yourselves. 
I'm going to tell you what I did. Uh, I made a decision that, you know, all of this quarantining and confining ourselves, uh, and we are in a great place in central um, United States that we aren't in the, the situation that a lot of people are in, that you know, it's like you can't come out of your house. We do. However, there's a lot of us that care for someone that happens to be very vulnerable and it has wrecked our social lives. Believe me, of all people, I understand that more than anyone. I promise you, I have had my whole life two, three, eight, four events a night to choose to go to. Every night of the week, every weekend, I had a huge social life. And I love my life, travel all over the world. So can you get angry? Of course. Have I been angry? Absolutely. Have I been disappointed? Absolutely. Sometimes you got to get the point where, okay, I'm going to accept this is where we are and control the controllables. So I'm going to give you a couple of ideas of things you can do. Now, and, and we've seen them all. There's a lot of online groups now that you can join, which I love. I actually uh, joined Telegram. And when I found it, it's the... It, lists all these different groups and you get to choose these are these are my people you know if it's water skiing if it is um knitting if it is uh, gambling i don't gamble but i'm just throwing out some ideas and there's certain things travel that of course that's a group that i would want to join these are like-minded people now a hundred million people already knew about telegram and i'm pretty much in the know and i can tell you i did not know about telegram <laughs> and i'm like Okay, 100 million people know and I don't. In just one week, 500 million people, 25 million in one day from around the world have joined this uh, telegram.org. So there's things you can do. So it's like, it makes you feel empowered. Like I can control something. You can say, okay, every day I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna do something for myself. I actually hired a, um, a fitness coach. Uh, because what good does it do for us to blame COVID and we all gain 15, 20 pounds and some more? Uh, some people are so smart. One of my dear friends, Gail, I swear she lost 40 pounds, you know, just walking every day. She made sure she did 10,000 steps. She made sure she hiked and she is, lives in Big Bear. So if she was in Big Bear, took advantage, didn't sit and wallow in the woe is me. What she did is she took some action. So that's what I encourage you to do. I don't encourage anybody to sit home and Netflix binge. Have I been guilty? I never knew what that was. Yes, I did it during the, the um, winter months. In a, I know we're still winter, but during the, the fall, I did that. Um, and I actually kind of enjoyed it and, and found some new programs, but I don't encourage that at all because you need to do something physical, anything to help your mindset get right. So please figure out what that is Take some time, decide. Maybe it's just reading books that you said, you know, I never had time. I was like, oh, I can't be bothered with that. I personally like to take, the, I, I got on audiobooks, which I never have done before myself. I get on audiobooks, and so that when I go jog or I go uh, exercise, I'm listening to an audiobook while I'm doing that. And I have found that is like, oh, I can't wait for the next chapter. So it helps motivate me to get up in the morning and go. So whatever it is that you can do to find your center and your controllables and really don't let anybody steal your joy not in 2021 not happening get her done in 2021 i'm victoria woods i'd love to hear comments about what it is that you are doing and please subscribe